Today's Bible study is titled, I Am Crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Galatians 2 verses 20 to 21 In coming to believe the gospel of his death, burial, resurrection, according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, and the resulting salvation by grace through faith therein, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9, is the process of our being placed by God into union with Christ in the body of Christ. More particularly, the doctrine of our crucifixion with Christ lends to what happens at salvation. Prior to salvation, everything that was true of our progenitor Adam was true of us. Example, he came to be separated from God by sin, and thus we were born in sin, we were in union with Adam. At our salvation, God takes us out of union with Adam and places us into union with his Son, so that now everything that is true of Christ is true of us. By our union with him, since Christ died, then we died with him. He was buried and so were we. And he was resurrected to life, leaving sin in the grave, and the same is true for the believer, all via our union with Christ. Per today's verses. Text here, we are crucified with Christ, such that even though we now still live in our flesh, it is Christ that lives in us. The life we therefore live in this human flesh thereafter, We live by the faith of the Son of God, not just our own puny faith, but His. Tie this back to what Paul previously said, that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Galatians 2 verse 16 And we see the complete picture of salvation and the then what after salvation, neither of which depends upon our puny efforts. This living by the faith of the Son of God is ours by right, as we were baptized by the Spirit into the body of Christ, union, at our salvation. To seek to live by any other means than the faith of Christ, such as by the works of law, with which some were troubling the Galatian believers or some type of religious works, is to frustrate the grace of God. In closing this thought, and to further point out the futility of a believer seeking to live by law or other works of the flesh, Paul reminds that if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. In other words, if living by the law, which was proved impossible for anyone other than the Son of God, were able to make us righteous or acceptable to God, then Christ need not have come and died for the sins of mankind once for all. His death for such would have been an unnecessary act. Believer, live by the faith of the Son of God. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.